My name is Ukmini. Our next performance is called The Juicy Genius of Play. This performance project was aimed to explore the act of playfulness through the sacred art of clowning. I learned clowning from a, a Portuguese clown about 14 years ago. I think I spent most of my childhood feeling like I need to be invisible because I was clearly a misfit everywhere. Clowning gave me that uh, power to just kind of be myself. Ladies and gentle males, welcome to our very special edition of Clowns Got Talent. Then I got an opportunity to uh, direct a uh, play with some professional actors and it was supposed to be a clown play and it took us about seven months to do it mainly also because I was doing it for the first time. It just made so much sense for myself, for this world. That was the time when I really got into clowning and I really started discovering a lot about my own clown, about the art of clowning as a practice. It seemed like the art form that would help me do that. We started with birthday parties because it didn't have to be high art, like very artistic. But there were kids, they would laugh and then we would try, get to try out a lot of things. Around this time was when me and my friends started a company called Purple Mangoes. When it started, it wasn't supposed to be entirely about clowning. master plan to of clowns taking over the world so <laughs> this fits very well in my master plan it's been interesting because I have worked with design students in the past as designers I think you all are trained so much to look at details and really can be a little intellectual so it was a little hard for me to, to get you out of your brains and get um, because clowning is about uh, designing, creating an experience for people where the audiences are moved to feel different emotions or there's something that joins. And there have been times when I've been amazed at the kind of improvisations and the kind of rawness and vulnerability that has been shown. To Overall, it's been a little annoying sometimes because uh, very distracted no and uh, yes but otherwise it's fine no problem <laughs> The time when I decided not to finish my degree, I, I had already finished two years of my BA and the third year I decided not to finish it. And I think I was just trying to make a statement at that time. Now, you know, uh, I'm not that hot-blooded about it, but as long as I am being true to what I need to do at, at a given point of time, it figures itself out. Fortunately or unfortunately, I think there's pros and cons to it, but as an artist, uh, you anyway can't wait for anyone else to give you work. You have to create your work. I uh, have been supporting myself for a, long, for a long time and I've never had to answer anyone about not having a degree or not um, having a plan of action in my life. I was brought up in a family of artists and activists and so being brought up differently and you know with different perspectives I looked at the world differently I was a different kind of person I use my art to create more spaces where there's more freedom for people to just be themselves.
and I think that's one of the biggest uh, oppressions of uh, this world, even on days when I really doubt it, when I feel like everything is falling apart in the world, and I'm like, what the, f what am I doing? I realize that it's important to work still, even though it may not move governments and move systems, it's still creating change in some, some level. I enjoy the rawness and vulnerability that I I get when I'm a clown. So, thank you.